Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, in this video, I am giving you an updated tour of my no-build minivan camper conversion. I did my first tour in December of 2020, and I've done an updated tour every year since then, in 2021, 2022, and now we are in 2023. So this is going to be an updated tour of my entire van. Now, keep in mind that I have links in the description to all of my Amazon items in the van. I built out my van using Amazon for the most part so if you don't see a link to an item in my van that you're interested in in the description that's because it either didn't come from Amazon or it's no longer available on Amazon so before we get started be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here and you're interested in van life like this video and let's get on with the tour I don't really want to voice over this tour. I want to do it in real time, so I do apologize uh, if there's a bit of a breeze, but I travel with my 11-year-old Chihuahua, Winston. He's the best travel companion ever. This is his collapsible playpen. This is his safe spot, his cozy place, so I always have it up, and then I move the curtain on top of it uh, with the sun to make sure he has plenty of shade and he's comfortable. These are actually levelers I made for my bed platform, which I will show you in a little bit, but we are going to start with the front of my van and move to the back. Um, outside here I have my collapsible trash can. I actually bought it at Walmart for $10. And my big rug that you see here is 9 by 12. I purchased it from a small business vendor in Quartzsite, Arizona. I just got this new chair from Walmart on clearance and then I have my Rock Pals 300 watt power station charging my Samsung tablet right now. It's sitting on a collapsible bamboo table from Amazon. My Amanda and Winston sign I purchased from a small business in Quartzsite, Arizona. And my broom is actually a retractable broom that I purchased on Amazon. This ramp right here uh, folds up. It is for Winston. It's not for me. It's so Winston can get in and out of the van easily. And YouTuber Maddie Van Halen actually made that for him. So now we'll start in the front of the van. This is the passenger seat where Winston travels. No, the beer and <laughs> sparkling water does not sit here normally. That'll go on the floor of my van. But when we are camped somewhere... I use the passenger seat to store that sort of thing. Down here on the floor, I have my Van Powers 1500 watt portable power station. It is used only to run my refrigerator and my toaster oven if I'm using it because my toaster oven uses a ton of power, uses a ton of power, so I have to use my big power station. But that is just for my fridge cuz it can last several days without me having to charge it. This is a cat litter bag, but it does not have cat litter in it. It actually has my pine pellets from Tractor Supply that I use for my toilet, which I will show you. And then behind my power station, I have another pair of shoes and my car vacuum. I put nothing on my driver's seat because I want to make sure that I can always get in it and drive away in case of an emergency. This is my 12 volt refrigerator. I absolutely love it, highly recommend it. It is 30 liters, I believe. So nice and big, but it's it's uh, small enough so it fits in my van easily, uh, but big enough for my food for about five days. And I really like the top surface because I can actually cook on it and that's how I make my coffee is on top of that in the mornings. Here is my collapsible toilet and there are my pine pellets. So uh, this is what I urinate in, and then I can dispose of that and keep everything separate. And I love this collapsible toilet. I've tried a five-gallon bucket, a camping toilet. I've tried a collapsible toilet with a lid, but this one is my favorite. I've been using it for about two years, and I swear by it uh, over all of the toilets I've used. I often just keep a gallon of water in my van, easily accessible for me and Winston. So as you can see, here is my bed. It is a trifold memory foam mattress on top of a piece of foam from Home Depot. 
I made the bed platform and I do have two videos about it on my channel so be sure to check those out. I have a fitted cot sheet on the mattress and then I sit right here against my orthopedic back pillow when I'm relaxing, watching my shows, doing my work. I purchased it on Amazon three years ago but I don't believe it is available anymore. Right here is my third row single seat up and that is where Winston sleeps so that is his bed and then I just have a lot of colorful blankets and decor my white window shades that you see I have on my back passenger windows as well as my trunk they are from heatshieldstore.com over on the side, I have a narrow shelf from Amazon. I actually have two of those in my van. They work really well. You can even stack them on top of each other, and they come with wheels if you'd like to use them. I don't have mine on wheels, but they're awesome because they can. <laughs> there are three shelves, and again, they can fit in a very narrow space. I have two of these fans. They are awesome for the summer and to kind of keep bugs out. There is my other one. They are rechargeable via USB. And then that is my main lighting source. It's a $10 light from Amazon. It is also USB. So let us move on. Here's the view from my other door. I actually keep my Jackery power station and my Rock Pals right here on the floor when I'm not using them. And then here's another view of the shelf. This is just my Bluetooth speaker. I keep a knife right next to me, some electronic cords, my leveler, uh, so when I park, I can make sure I level, I'm level tapestries. And then this CD case actually organizes my cords for my electronics. And then next to it, I have my laptop and my notebooks that I keep there um, because I do work on the road. And I also have Verizon Hotspot. Verizon is actually my service that I use for working and streaming. I have this little aluminum table here that I use all of the time. Uh, you can purchase it at Walmart or from Amazon. And then of course the collapsible sink. This is my water system. It's an electric water pump on top of a three gallon jug from Walmart. So that is my purified drinking water. And then I also have three gallons of shower water. I carry three gallons of shower water and five gallons of drinking water with me at all times. In this little water or in this little spray bottle here, I have vinegar and water, which saves water for doing dishes. I also have my Jackery 240 Explorer. That's my smallest power station, charging right now via my Yargo solar panel, which I highly recommend. And again, I have videos about all this stuff on my channel. So if you have questions, be sure to check out my over 600 van life videos including the review for this Yargo solar panel. Moving on to my trunk space. This metal shelf I actually purchased from Lowe's. I absolutely love it. It fits so well and not only is it great for storage but it's also great to hang things on as you can see like my hats. So here is my other white narrow shelf. On the top I keep all of my cleaning supplies in the middle, I have a tapestry, a sewing kit, and some extra wipes. These are also baby wipes that I use for everything. And then on the bottom, I have uh, like bug spray, mouse repellent, my lanterns, and tools. As you can see, this is how I store my clothes, my towels, all of my linens. And then I do all of my cooking and coffee making on this Gas One butane stove inexpensive simple and I can use it anywhere actually I'll show you real quickly how easy it is to use on top of my fridge I actually I'll pull it out from inside my van obviously because it's accessible and then I can just use it right on top of my fridge or on my bamboo lap table nice and convenient so and then I will take it out and put it on this table when I'm doing my cooking if I'm not cooking in the van. This is my coffee bin. I have a collapsible tea kettle for making my coffee. Again, there are videos about how I make my coffee on my channel, so check those out. But utensils, my coffee bags, cutting board, 
all of those coffee and cooking things. And I also have these hanging cups that are hanging on my shelf. They are from Ikea. Salt and pepper, utensils, soap, sponge, all those good dish cleaning items. This I actually need to reorganize, but this is all of Winston's stuff, his food, his bowls, his treats, etc. This is actually a diaper caddy and it keeps all of my hygiene items in it. Easy way to keep them organized and I can move it from location to location if I need to. I have my paper towels hanging up on a bungee cord, very convenient because I can access them from inside or outside of my van. And then I have my big 200 watt van power solar panel that sits right here as well as my other solar panel. And then behind it, I put my aluminum table when I'm traveling. This top storage bin has dry food and plates and bowls. And then the storage bin on the bottom has miscellaneous items that I don't necessarily use all the time, but I do need them. So they're in my bottom storage bin and it's easy to get, get out if I need to. Behind here, I have plenty of space. So I have my laundry bag and I can also keep two gallons of water behind there as well. And it's nice and secure. I have my bananas hanging on this hook, but that's actually also where my sink goes when I am traveling. I purchased my sports rack rooftop box off Facebook Marketplace for only $80 about two and a half years ago. It's been tremendous. It's 18 cubic feet of storage and I put all my big stuff in it, uh, like my camp chair, my rug, Winston's playpen. Also up there is my portable shower tent and my portable tent, anything, uh, or I'm sorry, and my portable shower. Anything I'm not using every single day goes up there or the big items, like I said, like my chair that I don't want taking up livable space in my van, I store in my rooftop box. I do have black magnetic curtains that I have for every window except my very back windows because I have heat shield. I've been using these curtains for actually five years. I even used them on my Honda Fit, of course, link in the description, but they are so wonderful. I absolutely love them and uh, they're easy to use and inexpensive. So again, like I said, to shower, I either use public facilities or I use my portable shower with my shower tent. I also have levelers in my rooftop box uh, because I boondock most of the time and it's not always level. So I keep those in my rooftop box as well and my collapsible trash bin. And to reiterate, I do work on the road, so I have Verizon. I only camp places that I have good cell service uh, because then I can use my mobile hotspot and my laptop. My tablet is on its own separate line on my Verizon plan, and that also has unlimited data. That is a Samsung tablet. My Rock Pals 300 and my Jackery 240 power station are used for all of my small electronics like charging my phone, my tablet, my lights, my fans, uh, and even my laptop. Especially for stealth camping or when I'm traveling and staying in, let's say, truck stops or a rest area, it's important that I can access everything from inside my van. And that's one reason I really love this shelf. I can get to anything uh, whether I'm sitting here on my bed or outside. So this is another view of like my toilet, my water, Winston's bed. And it's super, super cozy. I also make sure that I keep a clear path from my bed to my driver's seat and I keep everything empty in case I do need to leave in an emergency. I hope that this tour was helpful for you. Again, I apologize about the wind, but my last, uh, well, two of my tours I did in my driveway. Last year's I did in Flagstaff, but this time I wanted to do a tour with everything set up. So I hope that it was helpful to you. If you have questions, please browse my channel because I have a lot of very helpful information about literally everything in my van. And again, I have links in the description if you don't see it a link to something it's because i didn't purchase it on amazon or it's no longer available thank you so much for tuning in be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you next time